Hello, hello. Testing, testing. Testing. Yeah, this does seem to be working. Hello, Internet. How you guys doing? We are seeing an incredible thing right now. I'm going to pop it up here. Full resolution. This is a very special treat. This is our current and recent national champion, Cameron McCool. Uh, Cameron McCool is uh, painting here. He is, uh, has come to us through the uh, uh, Washington competition. He's also competed in Boston and a few other cities, but he won the uh, Washington State uh, Championship, and he went to nationals, and he won at nationals. So a real treat to see him create a, a slightly longer form painting here tonight. Testing, testing. All right. Yeah, that sounds about right there. Yeah, good, good, good. There we go. Just a little, pop it a little down there. Boom. Okay, hopefully you guys are getting good sound. I'd be happy to hear from you. I'm watching on uh, our Facebook feed uh, uh, as well as on YouTube. So if you uh, feel like commenting there. Oh, we're also live on PBM TV. Dot org, I think. Uh, everything's going well, Corey. Um, we are coming up to round one with some incredible artists. I'll bring up their names here you can, so you can see their names. There we go. There are the artists who are coming up in our rounds tonight. A really fantastic group. And it's uh, something of a season opener uh, as it's our first event back in Tacoma since the championship. I don't know if any of you characters out there would like to join me in uh, the commentary. We're, we're going to be uh, doing some tests of that coming up, uh, letting uh, artists, collectors, uh, fans of Art Battle uh, join us in uh, our commentary, which should be kind of cool. So uh, you can you can join us on Discord. Um, I'll put the I'm going to put a QR code on the screen, but basically the link is well. Let me put the QR code on screen. So let's make things a little straight more straightforward. All right, coming up real soon. We can see Cameron is getting uh, close to a finish there. And we have a, a wider shot of the room here. Perhaps we can grab that up. But first and foremost,
All right. Well, that's pretty cool there. I don't know if uh, anybody anybody can see, but uh, that QR code there is the uh, QR code to come join the chat. You can just pop right in here uh, and join us for uh, doing some commentary for rounds, uh, rounds one, two, and three coming up tonight. We'll get into a preview of the artist soon, but I can tell you it's a, a really fantastic grouping. We have some new artists. We have some experienced artists. Art battle competitors, it's, um, we're going to keep it literal. We're going to see some expressionists. We've got a skateboarder in the mix. Character portraits, large murals, um, big contrast, dark and bright colors, full black and white sketches, vibrant, wild, and free. Oh, man, I can't wait. You, you, you are going to fall in love with these artists just as uh, we have uh, and brought them out here tonight for you to vote. Don't forget you can vote. Uh, voting registration is open now. Just head over to ourbattle.com uh, slash vote. Uh, links right there at the bottom of the screen. And you can register yourself to vote. Uh, put in your phone number. You'll be able to uh, vote and bid on these paintings. If you are not from uh, the event and in the immediate area, you can... Uh, we can ship them to you. We'd be happy to. It'd be a great time to ship them to you. All right. Well, at least I know Gina's around. Gina is going to be on the voting tonight, helping make sure everything's uh, everything's fair and we've got a good chance and uh, gets those auctionlings out to you. She might pop in here now and again. Give us a little update, an opinion, an interpretation of a painting. I think by my count, we're starting in about uh, about 10 minutes. I'm going to throw in a countdown. It's not going to be accurate, but at least it'll feel like something's going on. Oh, it's actually pretty perfect. I don't know why I have it on 15 minutes there, but there you go. Victory. Oh, it's counting up. Hmm. There we go, there we go.
Whoa, whoa. Well, we're almost ready to start round one. Uh, we're making a couple of tweaks to the camera. Should be right now coming back. A little bit less skippy.
All right, here we are. We are heading down to the floor. Uh, a little bit of new camera testing setup for anybody who's stuck with us this long. I don't think anybody would, but um, anyway, here we go. Uh, we're about to see the beginning of round one in Art Battle Tacoma. We have just seen an incredible painting, and we're going to get a good uh, zoom in on it here. Incredible piece created by Cameron McCool, our current U.S. national champion, who was, the, uh, of course, the Washington State champion, and then traveled uh, with us to Wichita Falls, Texas. Uh, great show. Really, really, and obviously the best of the best of the best. So uh, it was really something. And, and here's the man who took home the trophy. Yeah, Cameron McCool. What a champ. All right, getting ready for round one. We see Miriam there. And now we have um, Scotty. Uh, let's see who else we got there. Oh, that's a change. We're going to have to get a, get a read on that one. I can't wait. We're mere moments away. Putting out the final, uh, final touches, getting some uh, paint out there, some paint water. I see some brushes. Oh, that's nice. A couple of happy faces ready to go. <laughs> This is a good scene in Art Battle Tacoma. People are having a nice time. That's a really incredible piece. Um, Cameron is a fantastic artist, and we are very honored to have him working with us and sharing his incredible talents. It's uh, something special, that's for sure. Okay, let's hear from the uh, the venue. We need, we need to make a pathway from the back room from all the way up, up here to the easel. If you guys can do that, come on, just 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 part. Pretend like I'm Moses, I'm like, oh, whoa. I'm not Moses, I'm Amos, but, oh, part. Oh, that's good, that's good. Thank you guys, thank you very much. Because we're going to bring out our artist right about now, is that so? Is that right, Dave? Oh, go ahead, keep on clapping, keep on clapping, is that fair? Yeah. I love 
love that sound. Oh, wow. Oh, so if you guys do not want to do it, make sure you have signed in so you can vote on your favorite artist. Because all these works of art will be up for auction at the end of the night. But we won't know who goes to round three unless you tell us. Because the two highest voted from round one and round three to compete for the grand prize of $100 and a Championship. Yeah. I mean, you've already seen what we're do. The national champion, Cameron McCool. He's the number one artist that part to swear to their every other. With an eye for the our next stick natural world.
start painting. I'm going to give a countdown. And then you guys might even help me with the countdown if you like. Yeah. Yeah. But while we're going, okay, I would like everybody to go clockwise around, slowly walking around and around. Okay? What that does is that helps everybody get a good view. We don't stand in anybody's way. And if we keep that going, people can take pictures, take videos, all for that 20 minutes. And then we do the same thing around too, but we're in the present right here. So, as soon as the artists are ready to go, we are going to begin. This is, this is pausing. I like that. That's just, that's posing. That's, all right. Everybody's ready. Oh, sponge action. All right, we all ready? Oh, almost okay. ready. The artist is putting up the artist. Yeah. All right, let's see if we can get my trusty stopwatch ready. Okay, are the artists ready? Is the audience ready? battle Tacoma. What a great art battle. Uh, these characters over in Tacoma always put on a great show. I'm sure we will see some very special artists for this, which is our uh, season opener in Tacoma. Uh, let's see who we've got here. Is this Christina on Easel One? Yes, it is. It's Christina on Easel One. Uh, she is a portrait artist, um, and uh, uh, I, I hear uh, she may be bringing a cartoonish flair to uh, her work, and... Uh, we're going to see what she's uh, she's got for us here. I think she's hoping to grow as an artist, she told us in her application. So, you know, she's been thrown into the, the gauntlet of art battle here to compete against the clock and her peers, her co fellow competitors, and, of course, her own um, sense of, uh, uh, you know, artistic technique and, and purpose. So we'll look forward to seeing the results from Christina Pruitt. I really like the fairly watery purple base she's got on there at the bottom. That's a, a nice palette to start off with. Um, this is going to be uh, Artist Monk, uh, Kaisi Monk. Well, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, but um, we are expecting a whimsical feel at Easel 2. Um, and she's here for the challenge. So very pleased to see uh, the work um, from Kaisi Monk. Whimsical fantasy art is what we're expecting here. And I think you can already kind of see that coming through uh, with this sort of, you know, in-flight figure in the middle and uh, a really, really, really pinkish sort of sunset tones coming off the bat off of the base there of the painting. A similar uh, mirror to the to the work that's come from Christina on the first round. Uh, so we might be seeing a couple of, of uh, sort of landscape-ish uh, approaches with a, with a main figure. And uh, yeah, here we go. You can see this is a, a real professional artist from that palette there. There's sort of very, very carefully uh, doled out uh, and spaced uh, in color order on the palette here of the artist, uh, Ms. Monk. Ooh, I, I like the black and white here. What are these, duck's feet? What are we seeing here? <laughs> this is a duck, a duck from uh, underwater in a dark pond. <laughs> That's probably not it. Could be trees also. You know, you, you can't fault a black and white uh, palette off the bat. You know, whether or not you see a highlight color popping in later. Um, it's always a, a standard staple. It's easy to get across the... Uh, the figure, the shapes, uh, the highlights, the lighting, um, uh, much more directly and sort of in a, uh, uh, with a, a focus on purity in a black and white piece like this. So we'll have to see if it remains that way and how far it goes. This is very designy at this uh, point, uh, you know, a bit of a graphic design element here. 
almost a comic book flair to it. So we'll have to see how we go. That's um, Taisa Larson. And she's apparently got an eye for the macabre. So we'll have to see. <laughs> this may be a skull, the uh, favorite uh, art battle skull painting. Uh, that may be, be very well what we see there. Oh, that's so nice. Um, we asked the artists why they, you know, what they're expecting to compete and why they want to compete. Um, and uh, uh, Tysa Larson said that the energy is contagious and she loves watching the artists pour themselves out on the canvas. So I think that's what we'll see from her tonight. Oh, I love this palette. I think this is um, Meryl Sadikaman. See there if it goes down a little. Oh no, this this is a this is a swap out. You can see from that tape. So we'll have to come back to you on that. But oh man, look at this palette. Really, really something here. I love the blue green sort of uh, you know dark gray blue back there. Um, and she's got a fist full of brushes. She's ready to go. Any brush, any time. I love it. And a socially conscious message, message of save the elephants uh, as well. And that's, uh, that's nice. We could all do more elephant saving in our lives, I think. Also a very carefully prepared palette here uh, from Meryl. I wonder if we're going to see an elephant. That would be great. I love elephant paintings. Well, this is not Meryl. I keep looking at her because she's at, she's at Meryl's spot. <laughs> um, we'll have to get a name. Maybe Gina can help us with a name. It actually is Meryl because Meryl is Meryl. our switch. I see. Very good. You did a whole bio for Meryl right on the fly there. Great. Fantastic. Well, Meryl, thank you and happy to have us uh, have you with us. Oh, look, our second skull of the round. <laughs> uh, fantastic. From Scotty, uh, Scotty Moose. Um, who I think Scotty's an honorary Canadian. Why is that? With the last name Moose, you have to be. With the last name Moose. Okay, of course. <laughs> you know, they have moose in uh, the northern United States as well. I think even in Washington they have moose. Um, yeah, Scotty Moose. The He, he loves a, a literal feel. This is a really nice palette for a skull because it brightens it up a bit. I mean, obviously skull is a bit, uh, you know, it's a bit dark normally, uh, but you see a, you know, you're seeing a skull here with the rose colored glasses and that's a really nice, uh, that's a nice approach. Very precise and considered uh, movements and placing. You see, this is a sort of an old uh, billiard trick, you know, lining the eye up perfectly. Um, and I really appreciate that here. Ah, I think we have uh, Miriam English up here next. And is this a portrait of Prince? I think it might be. Always, always good for a few votes, you know, picking, uh, picking a real favorite like that. But you have to make sure the likeness sticks. If you've, if you've come off, uh, it can be tricky. You don't want to be uh, doing prints, but having it look like Johnny Depp. I'm not saying that it does. It looks like Prince, you know. Um, okay, Miriam. She appreciates work from realistic pieces all the way to deeply abstract. So we see some of that in the background. A bit of a, you know, there's a bit of a floating head vibe to this here, although we can see the torso coming in now. This sort of, um, you know, on the diagonal, um, sort of cloudy, windy, uh, pink background uh, is really doing it for me. I like that. Ooh, ooh. And if I like that, boy, do I like this. Okay, we're back down um, at Easel One, back with Christina Pruitt. So when we saw her last, it was just that sort of purple base color at the bottom. But now we have done a very, very careful gradient blend all the way through um, sort of a, a light purple into a pink, and now we're on the ground. Who knows what's going to happen? Into a yellow, then sort of a white, then a then a then a sea blue, then a sky blue, and back to the purple. 
this is a very, very, very nice background. Um, we're still quite early. I did not remember to start the timer, so I don't even really know how long. Sorry about that. If anybody else is timing, feel free to let me know. Um, but yeah, uh, this is a really great work. I mean, gradient work is tough. And the gradient lines on this aren't as straight as sort of the most challenging uh, version of it. Um, but it'll be interesting to see. I think she's got a very, very tiny piece out there, a tiny, uh, tiny brush. Uh, so we may see some detail work uh, or some sort of a figure coming out on top now. Yep. Who knows what we will get. Interesting. Chosen sort of the same pink as that lower um, rung of the gradient here. Oh yeah, checking out her Instagram. Lots of sort of um, cartoonish, um, very, very good graphic cartoonish work. Um, I can, I am, I imagine with so much time left, that is um, absolutely what we're going to see here. So that's what we're working towards. Animal figures. This is great. Very nice to have you here in the competition, Christina. This is the perfect, you know, whimsical background for sort of a, you know, light, happy uh, cartoon animal. <laughs> so, uh, and here with Casey Monk again. Doing some sponge work in the top corner, very, very dark, uh, sort of mirroring the hair of the main figure. Uh, I like the edge, the technique on the edge of this. It's really nice. Often we in our battle want to look at what our favorite part of each painting is because it kind of, uh, you know, helps us to focus a little. And right now I'm really enjoying the transition line between the uh, black uh, corner uh, and the rest of the painting uh, with this sponge work. Uh, you don't see enough sponge work, I think, in our battle. Very, very uh, effective technique for covering a lot of area quickly. Yeah, here we go. Continuing with the sponge. Uh, now in the hair, a much a richer, almost a royal blue. Although a little less red than that. Great. Interesting to go. I wonder if we're going to see this blue color echoed any other places because the, the hair had been echoing so well that top left corner. Um, I bet you we see a little bit of blue coming to that later, but let's see. Well, uh, the voting is open, by the way. Uh, we would welcome anybody watching uh, live or, or even a few days later. You're welcome to go over to uh, artbattle.com um slash vote rpuddle.com slash vote and throw in your name and phone number and we will send you a special link and you can vote wow okay this is a different take on a skull i appreciate that it's not just a straight human skull we've got these you know big huge canines sort of um you know these uh these wild animal teeth coming and then sort of a snake-like golden figure on this very um high contrast uh black and white but with this one color of the snake going up into the eyeball this is very powerful i like that it's tough to break through on the skull work because we see so many skulls at our battle for some reason i'm not sure why skull it's definitely the year of the skull um but this one is uh is uh it's punching through for me. I really appreciate that. I think the the really effective blackness of that black background canvas, I don't know, we'd have to roll the tape back a bit. I don't know how she was able to get such great coverage or, you know, pigment load. Uh, and, um, you know, she's really blown out. She's really covered up the white there uh, with a full black and is painting with a very light color on top of it. That is a um, not 
not for the faint of heart. You got to be fully confident in your approach and your, your materials and your drynesses uh, in order to see that happen properly. This is really cool. I think it's going to resonate with the audience. Uh, and audience, uh, you, you know, that means you. Uh, you're going to help us vote. We're going to pick the uh, winner of this competition together. This is a beautiful piece. This was Merrill, I believe. Um, and um, it's great. It's, it's a bit of a sort of, um, you know, impressionistic uh, landscape, but what I love about this is it's, it's so little sky. We really are focused on, I think, the water here, some kind of a waterfall perhaps. It's abstracted enough that it, it's really, it's tickling my abstract painting bone as well. Uh, so very, very pleased with this painting. Yeah, really, really something. The, I guess the froth of the water and the interplay of the blue and the white there is a really, um, this is, you know, um, not Merrill's first time working with these, these lights and this movement in, uh, in, in this medium with acrylic paint. This is also a very good skull. Uh, so, you know, <laughs> a good painting is a good painting. Uh, you know, whether I've had enough of skulls or not is a whole other question. I, what I really like about this one, we're talking again about the uh, favorite parts of the painting, the interplay between the skull and the blue background um, and the shadow, what, which is sort of like a neck shadow almost um, in the bottom right of this piece are, are is really fantastic. I'll go on to say that the, the sort of drippy texture on the forehead there, that's, um, that's something as well. This is, a, they're both very, very good skulls. Let's see if I can clear up some of that uh, skip a Rooney here. Yes, let's see here. So great. This is Scotty. Uh, Scotty Moose is uh, thrilled with their work here. Oh, going right into signing. Oh, oh no, I'm sorry. I, I called that too early. But it is a marker or a paint marker. Oh, my gosh. Look, you've got to really appreciate this. Th this artist, uh, Scotty Moose, is working from a reference but it is a 3D reference. There is a skull or a plaster of a skull on the table. <laughs> this is not just a photo reference. That's, I, I think that that's really incredible because they have been able to really capture the depth in a way that, I, I, I don't know, but they may not have been able to if it were just an image of that same skull. Um, especially with how much sort of head mo careful he head movement is going on with that artist. That's a, that's a piece to keep an eye on. Maybe we're going to see that uh, make it through. And we're back here uh, to Miriam with our, I am pretty sure, our portrait of Prince. Uh, I like it. I like the, um, I like the thin line work. Um, I think that's working really well here. The colors, of course. And what's going on with the sort of the neck... Bed sheet, napkin, cloud. <laughs> I'm not sure, but um, that's kind of cool too. It definitely has a like bit of a disembodied on the way to heaven feel to it. <laughs> but there you go. Oh, it's doves. I'm sorry, I, I didn't recognize that. Yeah, it's doves, which makes even more sense. I won't start singing Prince for you here. That's on my karaoke show later. Uh, feel free to tune in. It starts uh, just after 1 a.m. Eastern. Yeah, there you go. And now we're with uh, Miriam English. 
And that is um, a bit of a, you know, unicorn, unicorn mythical creature uh, going on. I think she's running a little short on time, though. Again, I didn't start the timer, so we don't know exactly uh, how long. But a lot of the other, other artists are seem to be in their final stages. Um, I think we're going to need to switch over to a darker color to put in uh, some of the high contrast details on this figure soon. The clouds look good. Nice color balance between the clouds and their background gradient color. I really like the, how the three clouds are sort of slightly different. This is nice. Oh, look at that. It's um, sort of a starscape, uh, both in the hair uh, and in that top left background. Very, very magical. Um, very spacey. That's cool. That's a, that's a nice uh, polish on top of this piece. Wow. You know, I was praising the black and white nature of this painting to begin with, um, but the colors on here are really what's really what's doing it. This sort of, I don't know, this like a uh, like gold green, but almost like a sickly green also of this snake in the eye holes. Ooh, <laughs> this is a serious piece. This is Tassia Larson. Uh, sorry, it was anyway on the previous piece. And then here we, here we are back with uh, Meryl Sadikiman. Ooh, wow. I don't think I'm going to vote this round, but uh, if I did, I don't know. I really am drawn to this piece. I mean, the, you know what? It, it, it's almost like I might bid on this piece, but vote. The, the, uh, one other painting might still get my vote. Um, but that is a great piece. We're going to have to keep an eye on that uh, Meryl's painting. Uh, for the auction. Go check right now, maybe put a little bit on that. I'm gonna go over to artbattle.com slash vote, put in my name, phone number. There we go. You can go check that out. Simon P, $55. We can do better than that. Wow, that is, I can't believe the two skulls in this round. These two skulls are, you know, <laughs> we, we should have a, um, a, a running, a running um, gallery of skulls. So you could tell what I mean. There are so many skulls that are painted. And for some reason, a lot lately it might have something to do with pandemics or apocalypses or whatnot. Uh, but these are two of the very best skulls uh, I've seen at Art Battle in quite some time. And I think we are coming now to the end of round one. Uh, I'm going to turn up the local venue audio. Let's see what we hear. <laughs> Not quite.
Amazing. Well, it's time to vote. It is now the end of round one. Um, I think we can be pretty sure of that. Um, it is time to vote. We are going to decide the two top artists from this round will go on to compete for a four-way final with the two winners from round two. Um, and I'm going to leave you. I'm going to leave you running uh, uh, with this, and we're going to be back in about 20 minutes for round two. So please stick around or join us again. Uh, uh, or join us as we do a recap um, on an upcoming 24-hour live Art Battle stream.
thumbs up? Okay, all right, all right. Yeah, yeah. I see how it is. Inappropriate. In nope, nope, nope. No thumbs up for you, sir. No, mm-mm, mm-mm. I don't care if you, you know, watched a lot of Fonzie growing up. Okay, for the young people, there was this guy who wore a leather jacket. He jumped a shark one time, and when he liked things, he would go, "Hey." It's in the 1900s. Don't worry about it. If you weren't from the 1900s, don't worry about it. Okay. Fonzie looked terrible like that. <laughs> All right, be nice. Be nice, host. Be nice. Oh, boy. Oh, look, yeah. All right. Still looking? People still getting set up? All right, so you guys having a great time tonight or what? All right, so those people, this is the first time at Art Battle. How are you feeling about it? All right, are you going to tell some more people and bring some friends? All right, that's what I like. I mean, I was surprised. It was so sunny today. You guys could have been out barbecuing. You could have been camping. But you're here for Art Battle, and I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, boy. At this point, I'm feeling, feeling like I should, I should interview some people and ask personal questions. <laughs> I like a couple of people, oh, pick me, pick me. No, no, you're too excitable. You will say something not nice. I can't have that right now. Okay, so when the people are ready, we are going to do the splitting of the crowd so they can get through. Is that... Is that it? How we looking, Dave? Susanna? Newlywed? Hmm. No, I'm not taking your thumbs up either. Nope. Oh, oh what was it then? Oh, okay. Oh, I see it. Okay. All right. Mm. All right. My bad. My bad. It's kind of warm in here. You know why? Because there's some hot ladies in here tonight. That's why. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you saw? I, yeah. Hi, guys. Did you guys? Oh, no, we're just doing an art battle. You guys, you guys smoking the, smoking the, no? Just checking. People are getting happy outside without me. Can't have that. Sharing is caring. <laughs> All right. Okay, so I think it's about time. If we can have everybody make a path. Okay, this is the this is the Amos four fingered making a path motion. Yeah, I know you had to look twice because I, I, I only hit four fingers, yeah. yeah. Oh, no, yeah, no, it, I am not throwing up signs. I am missing a digit, okay. All right, here we go, yes, our, our artists are coming, yeah. Yeah, like this. Okay, one, two, three, four. Okay, yeah, that's everybody, oh my goodness. All right, as our contestants get set up, I'm going to start announcing some people. Okay. At easel number one, that's where I'm going to start. It's the beginning. An artist, a dog dad, and a skateboarder. Leading off at easel number one is a specialist and using oil to, uh, oil to paint to capture scenes from nature, especially landscapes. Everybody, give a warm welcome to Jonathan. Oh, we got big words in this one. Let's see here. Right, I am going to stand next to you, if you don't mind. Right. What are you listening to? 
Nothing? Yeah. Just trying to avoid people with the headphones on? I'm just trying to avoid extra noise. Okay, good, good, good. <laughs> All right. I'm getting personal. That's what I do sometimes. <laughs> All right. With a repertoire that ranges from character portraits to large murals, the artist at Easel Number 2 knows how to make a statement with their art, regardless if it's large or small. All right, everybody, give it up for Jay Grove. <laughs> at easel number three, a portrait and landscape artist that loves the contrast, dark and bright colors to make their unique pieces. Please put your hands together for Kayla Estron Goodwin. <laughs> Wait, was I supposed to say the hyphen in that name? Oh, all right. She got a hyphen, hyphen in that. The hyphy moment. Okay, I'm sorry. I like people from the Bay Area. They do the hyphy movie. Tell me when to go. Tell me. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This is. Right. You heard that song? Was it? All right. Was it on your playlist? Because it's an old song. Okay. All right. Good. 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 We'll play it later. Okay. It's not my thing to play it. DJ Nightwatch. <laughs> All right, let's, let's keep it going. Sorry, sorry. Okay. From black and white sketches to works of vibrant color, our next artist is excited to get started at easel number four. Let's hear it for John Gillespie Jr. All right. It's a long introduction. So I got to go faster. Okay. With a vibrant wild and free feel to their art. Our next competitor is ready to go at easel number five. Everybody give a big round of applause for Sophia Naomi. <laughs> Brooklyn. <laughs> Boricua. Um, all right, uh, our, at our final easel is an artist that has the versatility to express their artistic vision in many different forms. At easel number six, make some noise for Mackenzie Idings. <laughs> All right, so you know how we do it. That's how we do it in round one. We're gonna do it here in round two. All right, we're gonna go around in a circle. We're gonna make sure everybody can see. We're gonna support our artists by letting other people see. So at the end of the round, every. These paints go up there. I mean, the paintings go up on the stage. You can vote for it. But we got 20 minutes. So we're going to start it off. Oh, I like that. Camaraderie. The high five. I want a, I want a high four. All right. Yeah, because I'm missing a digit. High, it's, it's okay. That's okay. That's all right. That's all right. All right. Artists, are you ready? Okay, good, because if you shake your head, no, we're not going to start. It's going to be your fault. Okay, good. All right, artists, are you ready? <laughs> Audience, are you ready? <laughs> then let's get ready to battle! All right, well, that was... Um... <laughs> it was a great intro. I think our host really does only have nine fingers. Uh, we'll have to inquire later as to how uh, true that is. But for now, we will enjoy our Battle Tacoma round two. We started there and are still on the palette of uh, Jonathan. A dad, a dog dad and a skateboarder. So he, he does look the part, I will say. Um, and it'll be very interesting to see what, uh, what we've seen. What scene we see with Jonathan. Getting the canvas wet, uh, that's, um, that's, a, that's a good approach. So you can keep it a tiny bit, a, a tiny bit uh, moist, but not, um, uh, you know, not giving you problems later uh, as you want to do layering and you don't want to see too much uh, color mixing for the dreaded art battle purple. Well, look at that, another side profile at the same easel position. Uh, this is from, I believe, if it's in uh, in order as per my notes, it's Jeremy Hargrove. Um, character portraits, large mur murals, 
Um, and this is an artist who knows how to make a statement with their art. That's what we see in our introductory notes. Those side profiles are so tough, as we were speaking about um, with your usual Art Battle host, uh, uh, Morgan Booth, the other week. The, the difficulty is in maintaining the sense of depth. Um, a side portrait can feel very, very flat. And so the interesting challenge for the artist and to see if they can achieve it um, is having it feel, still feel. Uh, and I think we're off to a good start here, though, uh, with Jeremy's piece, because that's some sort of, you know, advanced level shading with only a few moments in. Did I? Where's our countdown? Speaking of only a few moments in. I did turn it on, I swear. Let's see here. Let's put it down to uh, yeah. There you go. That's about right. <laughs> it's probably not actually. They have a little bit longer than 16 minutes and 32 seconds. Um, and okay, and at our next um, artist at Easel Three here, the, this is Kayla. I think we know what she's going for. Always uh, a strong favorite, really playing to that um, Friday night uh, drinking audience desire. Uh, hey, it's a trick and it works. And it's not really a trick, is it? Because <laughs> that's the name of the game. You got to get those votes. Well, we've got great symmetry um, uh, off, off of the bat here. And some very intentional uh, preparation for um, some shading and, and light play, I think we see there both on the legs and on a little bit, uh, little bit thicker shadow on the right side of the bum there. And at easel four, we have John Gillespie Jr. Wow. This is cool. John's given us something dead center in the canvas, uh, sort of a, you know, a designy geometric shield shape uh, to focus on uh, in green and then picking the, uh, the blue to go with it. It's, it's very interesting. I think John is going to need a third or a fourth color to, to balance a few things out here, but no doubt we'll see that in the time remaining. Coming in here with a fairly detailed, uh, 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 thin brush and almost producing a, a charcoal-like sketch coming out of that green shield shape. I'm not sure what to expect there. This may be some sort of a Superman kryptonite reference. Oh, that could be the, um, the tower that's in Seattle. What's that one called? I don't know though. It feels very roboty to me. I, I'm really I'm liking that. I hope this 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 tends more towards a bit of a you know robot arms antenna situation. But I don't know if that's what we're gonna get. Really nice shading um, there that initially started out with to be a pretty, pretty, um, you know, charcoal-y line drawing um, and is pulled it into the shadow realm. Um, very, very nice. I'm, I'm, I love that as the contrast on the back, uh, the white canvas behind it. Almost a sort of a translucent robe that that uh, shield is wearing. It's an interesting one. Okay, and here we have, um, this is intended to be Sophia. Is that who we see there? Yes. Great. Sophia Noemi, 
Um, she says that she does not like people watching her paint. <laughs> but she has a sip and paint business. And so she's challenged herself. Uh, obviously, she has overcome her dislike of people watching her paint. Here she is. She's doing an incredible job. A, a, a great mixture of, uh, you know, color swaths, a bit of, um, you know, almost a watercolor approach with that blue there. Um, and But overall, some uh, fantastic still life figures in the form of these beautiful, uh, beautiful flowers. Very nice for this time of year as the flowers are coming upon us. Yeah, I really like uh, I really like what she's up to here, and I appreciate the staged process here. I mean, I, is she going to bring the color in after? I wonder if it actually is watercolor. We may get an opportunity to see right here as she seems to be ready to switch back to the color process. Oh, but we'll have to keep an eye on that for when we come back uh, next. I think we're seeing here a jellyfish. And I love these, the big arm movements, you know, to get the motion just right. You know, the, it, the, 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 um, the brush stops marking. She doesn't have enough paint on it, but she continues with this perfect smooth motion to create the, the sense of movement that we need there. And she's coming back and do it again and again. And, and uh, in the end, we get a beautiful overlaid arc. Very nice work here. This is from Mackenzie. Is this Mackenzie? Yes, it is. Mackenzie Eddings. Mackenzie's painted with this many times before. She's a fantastic artist. Um, this is definitely one to watch for a possibility of going into the finals. You can tell Mackenzie's having a good time. A little bit of head bopping there to the music. The music that we cannot hear because of the uh, copyright uh, uh, streaming issue. But um, wow, look at this. We're back to easel one here. This is Jonathan. He's our uh, uh, dog dad skateboarder. But also, clearly, a very accomplished artist. This is essentially a, um you know a monotone but gradient uh, piece a white and this sort of uh bluey green very very pacific northwest fog uh, uh sort of trees in fog here uh low contrast beautiful piece wow i love how it's sort of falling off down there a great sense of depth with this even though we are in a sort of a super low contrast scenario, very foggy, but yet you still sort of feel it uh, to the bottom right of that painting going away off into the back. Great work by Jonathan here. I think he's a real contender for the final round. At least eight minutes remaining.
Jeremy's work here coming along nicely. A gray palette uh, perhaps gets a little muddy towards the bottom of the painting there, uh, but the figure is clear uh, and emotional and well, uh, you know, well prepared. This is the side portrait. There is a bit of depth here. Um, I like the tear. It's got a bit of a tattoo vibe going on. Nice work. Honestly, I think the background is the trickiest, the trickiest part here. The figure itself is really uh, quite something. But the background is almost too painterly for my liking. Kind of a, a little bit of an unfinished piece there, but to each their own, and you do get a vote, artbattle.com slash vote. Kayla Goodwin here. This is cool. It's got a, a very... The color blocking used to... Um, Express the light here in this super high contrast, overcolored, oversaturated bikini bottomed girl is um it's cool. It's got a nice vibe to it. It feels like the sun is just like completely overtaken and we're you know <laughs> the figure is almost transparent. Whoa, and some really dark uh, colors coming in here now. I think that's almost a black. Note, adding the black last, always a smart move. If you add it first, it can uh, get muddied everything up, create some trouble for yourself. And now we're back to John. I couldn't quite figure this painting out before, but we, we should be able to now. I think we're seeing a definite UFO. Like a bit of, um, you know, take me to your leader, Toga. Is that UFO? Is that alien holding an oboe or a brass instrument down there? What is that? Uh, that's pretty funny. This is a very comic piece. A grinning, uh, classic, uh, heart-shaped alien face wearing some sort of robes with a waist belt and a, I think, French horn. I think I'm going to go French horn as the thing that the... And a flashlight, a French horn <laughs> <laughs> for God's sakes, somebody interview John later and have him explain what is going on here because I do not know the story, but I want to know. I might buy the book or go see the movie. This is a good piece. You take this home, you put it on your wall, and everybody who looks at it is going to want to know the story. So I hope the buyer makes sure to extract that from uh, John. Paint long and prosper. Oh my God, look at this. This is a this is a totally custom art battle shirt. It says paint long and prosper, and then twenty minutes down at the bottom. Coming back to see Sophie's work here, 
Ah, oh, I love this. You know what it reminds me of? It's one of those um, uh, books, those nature books, the sort of old-timey nature books with the plates that had sort of the flattened, uh, the samples of, of, of the, the plant. You know, flowers of the 2,500-foot uh, Pacific Northwest uh, altitude uh, in, a particular, in a particular valley. And here are all of them. Gray colors. It's so busy, this painting, and yet you get a sense, I think, I do anyway, of sort of an overall calm. I think she's done a great job with metering out her paint, which seems to be almost completely used up at the end of this round two. Now, for those of us who've just joined us, we have uh, two artists from this round will go on to compete uh, with the two artists from round one who are the winners and for a four-way final in a, in a round that's coming up in just a few moments. Well, a few minutes at least. Um, and you are going to help us vote for the winner. If you'd like to anyway, head over to artbattle.com slash vote and throw in your uh, phone number and email address. And we will uh, send over a special voting link and you can vote and bid uh, and join us there. Another look here at the jellyfish from Mackenzie Iddings. The, the colors on this are fantastic. It's very classic sort of, uh, you know, uh, shallow sea jellyfish colors, but it's, I'm still digging it. And you can see how carefully she has laid it out on her palette there. Very, very intentional. Uh, this is an experienced artist. Another fantastic work here, back with Jonathan. I note here in his bio, is a big fan of oils, but I think this is acrylic. We usually ask the artists to stick to acrylic if they can, so the paintings dry quickly and they're easy to get to their collector's homes. But this is a really nice piece. Again, the depth. Maybe the bit of the depth is lost for me now in that bottom right corner, but still, this is um, this is a very powerful piece, and I think the limited palette, the limited palette really adds to it. Get those votes in, artbattle.com slash vote. Um, you will help us pick the winners from round one and round two. The round one winners have not been chosen yet, and you are still able to vote on the winner of both rounds.
right, all right, all right, you guys. The voting is now over, and we have the finalists for the third round. Are you guys ready? Okay, where are our artists? Are, you, are the artists ready? People in the front room are ready. All right, all right. I'm sorry, she's too hood. I got to wait for her to finish, right? No, East Coast is in the house. Okay. <laughs> BK, the bridge is over, the bridge is over. I'm sorry. Okay. All right, if you guys are ready, at easel number one, Scotty Moose. Go ahead and head to the back and get your paint ready. At easel number two, Tasia Larson. Easel number two, go ahead to the back and get your paint ready. All right. At easel number three, Sophia Naomi Brooklyn's in the house. Go to the back, get ready. And at easel number four, What'd you say? You are correct, Jonathan! Go to the back and get your pay ready! So those are the contestants for the third round. Scotty Moose, Tasia Larson, Sophia Naomi, and Jonathan. So, that's all I gotta say. We're gonna get ready for round number three.
All right, and here we are in round three, the final round, our championship round in Tacoma. We have uh, four fantastic artists with us, the winners of round one and round two. And uh, they are uh, Scotty Moose, Tysa Larson, Jonathan, and Sophia Noemi. Um, and we get to see them go again on these huge canvases. Our uh, friends in Tacoma, who also run the Seattle show, love to see a big final round canvas. And we have regular flat rate shipping on these. So you're getting a huge deal if you are an online buyer. And we will ship this to you. These are going to be four incredible paintings. Let's see what these artists can do. I love this work right off the bat here with this, I don't know if it's a sponge, but some sort of a cloth fabric uh, in her hand there. Loving these rings, a great intensity right off the bat and, and uh, creating the perfect uh, bedding for uh, whatever figure she is planning to bring in. Scotty Moose in the first round was going full outdoor landscape scene. And now we are seeing uh, the uh, classic reclined pose, uh, most likely female portrait. Great work so far. Very, very fast work here from Scotty. And no doubt we're going to see something incredible.
Okay. 